Oleg Stantsov is a Ukrainian citizen, but he was tried as a Russian. Can you explain that to us? Um, he was given Russian citizenship uh, against his own will. And that is the reason that Russian government uses to, um, to argument that they won't be changing him for any Ukrainian uh, Russian prisoners in Ukraine. So they basically just gave him Russian citizenship, even though he never asked for it. How many U uh, Ukrainian citizens have been given Russian citizenship like this? Um, Oleg Sensov case is uh, the, the most well known, and we can say that this is like an outstanding case of given citizenship just like this. So most of the people who are held in Russian prisons either had Russian citizenship before or they're still Ukrainian citizens. Is Oleg Sensov likely to be released despite the international pressure this case has been given? Um, we, we all in Russia want to hope that Oleg Sensov will be released and he will be alive when he is released. And I think in order to make this happen, the international society and the international political arena should not stop Putin pressure and Putin to make this happen. And the most likely scenario, in my opinion, is that Oleg Sensov will be exchanged for most probably um, Kirill Vashinsky in Ukraine, who was uh, arrested for uh, being an editor in chief of uh, a Russian media in Ukraine. And I, I, everybody understood that he was arrested only to be exchanged for Alex and so. And so international society should put pressure on both Russia and Ukraine for them to uh, start participating in this talks about exchanging them. In your opinion, how many political prisoners are behind bars in Russian jails? Um, there are, there is a human rights organization called Memorial in Russia, and they are counting these political prisoners each year, and the count is um, about 140 political prisoners. Okay, Polina Nemirovska, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us on the program today.